Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Wednesday, June 20th, 2018. Well, folks, let's take a look here at the spiders today. Spiders, S&P 500, basically exactly what you would suspect. So we opened higher today after the great reversal yesterday. Notice the pattern formation here. So if you go back to last Friday, we ended up selling on a gap down. So we opened the markets on a gap down here. We had a little bit of a sell, and then we reversed and floated up this, the whole entire day. Look at that pattern repeat to a T yesterday. Here we opened on a sharp gap down. Uh, yesterday, we then floated down exactly at the same time you bottomed on Friday, you bottomed today. All right. Now, what's interesting and why I'm bringing that to your attention is because if you count out the amount of candles here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you see that? So basically what that's telling us is that computer programs are in control of this market. The volume today is 18 million after basically almost 12 o'clock now. The volume is ridiculously light, ridiculously light. So you got to understand that when volume's light, computer programs take over. The big boys obviously aren't majorly positioning themselves either long or short. So the market is just controlled by bots. And that's why you get things to repeat every day because they're programmed a certain way and that's exactly how it's done. All right couple other things I want to go over. I have two trade setups I want you guys to be aware of. Two that I'm very interested in myself. First, let's go to Oracle. Take a look at Oracle here. If I can type in the symbol right, that would be helpful. There we go. Um, number one, go to your daily chart of Oracle. Selling off pretty sharply today, down about 7.5%. If you zoom out, there's a huge area of support right in here. Look at all this chop. All this chop. So basically what I'm saying to you is all in here is good support. You can be a buyer of Oracle. I think anything below 4270. We scalped this already in the chat room. Uh, we bought it around 4285, sold at 4305 for a 20 cent scalp already today. But I like this actually as a swing trade off this level. I think you get a multi-day bounce here. Now again, anything below 4270 to me is a buy. And you can see the low of the day right now, 4270. You watch this video pretty much right after I put it out. You can probably buy right around here, and it'll be all right. You'll probably make 50 cents a buck in a day or two. Easy. All right, another stock I'm watching closely, Starbucks. Let me bring up the chart on Starbucks here. There we go. Starbucks getting hammered after disappointing guidance. So you can see here, there was a pivot low right here, which actually I think you actually bounced back above by the close. But on a swing trade basis... Start focusing in right down here. You're actually not that far away from this little low pivot, and that's around $51. So for a swing trade, I think as a day trade, you could actually buy it here and get a bounce up. I actually have some currently right around this 40, 52, 50 level for a day trade. But I think, more importantly, on a swing trade basis, you're looking at $51 for a major bounce opportunity on Starbucks coming up. So watch that like a hawk. I think that's a very, very key, 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 key level. All right. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot else. Markets continue to be slow. Technology and FANG stocks leading the way. The Russell continues to be a leading indicator. Let me just make this clear, folks. Look at the Russell here. The Russell up three quarters of a percent on the day. And this today, look at the intraday here. I want to show you this last thing. Look at how the markets kind of, the IWM, the Russell kind of faded. But then right here, it began to catch a bid. Okay. And started to take off. Then if you look at the spiders, so let's count the candles. One, two, three, four, five, six. On six, you bottomed. Six, you bottomed. Now, if we go to the spiders, what did we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we bottomed. You see what I'm saying? So the Russell continues to be a leading indicator. It's the one that's going to make the move first. What that's good for is if you see it start to downtick and fall sharply, you probably have a few minutes to short the spiders before the spiders react the same way. I think that's fascinating and very beneficial if you're a trader. Even as a swing trader, you can look at it like an leading indicator of an overall market rollover if the Russell starts to get weak. All right. On that note, I'm going to bid you farewell. Come take the seven-day free trial here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Our track record in 2018 speaks for itself. Huge gains, even with minor portfolio allocation.
meaning 10% less or less in each position we've given out, you're up over 40% for the year. That's incredible, folks. No hedge fund performing even close to that. You can see our track record on the website. Go take the seven-day free trial to InTheMoneyStocks.com. We'll see you soon. Take care.